guys welcome back to part two of this uh project where we are creating the clone of project page from one of my favorite uh, digital agency studio called malvach and this part we will create the infinite uh, scroll and our approach is um initially we will clone uh, some elements at the bottom of the list and when we hit some some uh position we scroll back to to the top or we scroll back to the end of the the, the list you'll see in a moment what we what we're gonna do what we're gonna do but first let's let's hide the images and the um the project info to to focus mainly on the the scroll so going back to our project item style we will set here opacity zero and for our image for our image we'll set the opacity zero next we'll work uh, mostly in our home container yeah so first what we're gonna do is to move this page page data into a local state so render items set render items use state page data because we, what we're gonna do is we will append new elements into to this array and then we will render them so instead of page data here we will pass the from the state um, next we'll also need to create a new um, reference so use use ref is a null um, let's import here the use ref and the use state maybe use effect let's have it for later perhaps and for our uh, ul we'll have to pass the menu items here items initially we have to create a few things one so we actually to clone have to clone um some elements and push them to to uh, the array when these components is mounted so use effect and we have to add the scroll event listener to this um to the reference so menu items dot current dot add ev event listener scroll and then we'll have a here i've created a function so scroll const scroll update so scroll update and then when we unmount this component it's a good behavior to remove um this event listener remove event listener Great, so um, what we're gonna do next, we will have to write a small function to clone a few components and to append them to the, to the list. So we'll here we'll create a clone items function. And what it's gonna do is uh, we need to know the height of uh, one of the elements uh, and this approach what I'm doing is will not work if the height of multiple elements is different for example if we have a project item so a title yeah that spans through two lines and one for one line we'll have some bugs because we expect that all of the lines will take will have the same height as as the the first element so we'll have the const item height which is a menu items current dot child nodes we take the the first one and the offset height and now we what what we need is to calculate how many elements um can fit now in our viewport so we will take the 
height of the viewport and divide by item by the first um, height of the the element and then we will sell or we will um, round to the highest value so const um, it max for example math seal so we will need to take the the window in our height and we will divide it by item height and now we know how many items we we can fit into the viewport what we have to make is to um, iterate through for all of the render items and to stop and to return a new kind of a clone yeah and to stop to the index of fit marks you'll see in a moment so const cloned items is equal to let's uh destructor the items so um filter filter we don't need the item so we need the index and we filter all of the the components that are have an index smaller than the fit max and then we map through all of them to get the target and return target so now we have some cloned um, items yeah so we have some first five so first ten how much we they can fit in our uh, viewport and next is to set render so we need to set to the state a new array of uh, cloned with the original files so we destructure the render render items and then we destructure the cloned items also we need to return the total height of the new um, cloned items so cloned items at length times item height let's make some room here say the const clones height it's equal to clone items clone this naming yeah so as you can see we we are duplicating the the items so from here they are mostly clones yeah so what we're gonna do is we will scroll and then when the first element of uh, the cloned items hits the top we, we we will scroll back to to scroll to position zero of the scroll and if it hits point zero we will scroll to 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 this fairy dust cloned items um so we'll have to create few helper functions so one of them is const get scroll position is an error function and will return um, let's see menu items dot current dot page y offset offset or menu items dot current dot scroll up so this is for different browsers menu items dot current dot client top or zero crawl Let's, uh, save and then we will need a const set scroll position menu items dot current dot scroll top equals to 
some position this position we, we will pass it from the top uh, also we need to initiate the current um, scroll so const scroll position is get scroll position and if scroll posi position is zero or is less or equals to zero we set the scroll position one yeah so in our use effect what we're gonna do here we will init scroll. now going back to our scroll update we will get the const scroll position to be the get scroll position current scroll position and here we'll have two checks yeah so one if and else so we say that if the clones height um, the how much elements height is when we uh, clone them plus current scroll position is bigger or equal to menu items dot current dot crawl uh, height we go back to position one else if the scroll position is smaller or equal to zero we set the scroll position be um, any items current scroll height minus clones height if we save check yeah so we kind of see something not quite browser has a smooth um, scroll behavior set and we have to disable it so scroll behavior scroll behavior so it's i think it's initially set to smooth yeah and we have to tell it so when we scroll we have uh, um, or an auto so here when the component mounts style scroll behavior unset if we save going back yeah so we have this uh, infinite scroll. and to hide the the scroll bar we can go on um here and we will set the webkit scroll bar to be display now unfortunately this might not work for other browsers great i hope you enjoyed this part the part two of this um series and i'll see you in part three